The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace And not of affliction You will call upon me And I will answer you And I will lead back your captives from every place The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace And not of affliction You will call upon me And I will answer you And I will lead back Good morning. Welcome to our celebration of the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. If you are on, if you are with us on Zoom, please remain muted during the service, except when we pray the Lord's Prayer and exchange peace with one another. Today's readings are focused on the end times, or we can hear the words as a personal reminder that each of us will eventually face the reality of our own ending, we can question how are we living each day? What efforts do we practice to make our earthly journey worthy of the heavenly life Jesus bestowed with his one perfect offering? Let us join in our gathering song.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. As you can see, we have a special guest with us this morning. Father Schwab is here. <laughs> Father, I'm, it makes me very nervous uh, having you here because so many people have told me about what a good sense of humor, how funny you are. And I'm trying to be as funny. I'm trying to carry on the tradition of being as funny as you are. Just, some people don't think I'm there yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. So let us take a moment now to, uh, to confess our faults and our failings and to receive the overflowing mercy and forgiveness and goodness of God. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you never cease to call us to a new and a more abundant life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you flood our hearts with your Holy Spirit and with your love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. to God in the highest and on earth these two people of Grant us, O Lord, we pray, the constant gladness and happiness and joy of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time of unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. 
Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament. And those who lead to the and those who lead the many to justice shall be like stars forever. The word of the Lord. to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you. This generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what is the opposite of being in love? What is the opposite of being in love? I've talked for, probably said something in every homily so far that I've been here about being in love with God and being in love with our parish, with our religion, with other people, with truth, with goodness, with learning. I've talked a lot about being in love. Well, what's the opposite of being in love? We talk a lot about being in love, but we don't think about what the opposite is. The opposite of being in love is just drifting, just drifting through life. And in our gospel, Jesus tells us to learn. It's a command to his disciples. Learn the lesson of the fig tree. And what is the lesson of the fig tree then? The lesson of the fig tree is you can see it's the blossom, the, the, the leaves are green. You know something's coming. There's no time left for just drifting. There's no time left for just drifting through life and through love. And so what does just drifting looks like if it's the opposite of being in love? Well, this is what it looks like. So what do I say? Well, you know, I don't really know that much of what to say. I tell you what, I say what everybody else says. I listen to what everybody else says. If I hear them saying it, that's what I say because I'm just, I don't, I don't have something to say that comes from words that come from my interior. I can't speak from my feelings of my interior. So I just say what everybody else says. So I'm just drift because I'm just drifting. Well, what do I think? Well, I'll tell you what I think. I, I, you know, I read the newspaper and I watch TV and I listen to the, uh, what's online and I think what everybody else is thinking. If everybody else is thinking, well, then that's what I think because I don't have my own, I, I don't try to think with the fullness of the human heart and mind that God gave me because that is a lot of work. It's a lot of work to think. And so I'll tell you what, I just think what everybody else thinks because I'm just drifting. What do I value in life? 
Well, I tell you what, I just, that's an easy one. I value what everybody else is valuing. I just look and see what everybody else thinks is important. I just see what they put as the priority, uh, how they stack up their values. And, and, and I, that's what I do because everybody else is doing that. That's what I do because I'm just drifting. And what do I do? What do I decide to do? Well, I do what everybody else is doing. I mean, it's pretty, I'm not charged up with my own energy to uh, make brave and loving decisions based on the fullness of my human thinking. And I just do what everybody else does. If they're doing it, that's what I do because I'm just drifting. And in our gospel, Jesus says that there is no time left for just drifting. So what does it look like to be in love? What does love look like? What does the real thing look like? We often, of course, and we're in a culture where we think so much about love as being feelings. And obviously, you know, when one is in love, there are a lot of feelings that go with it. But the trouble is the feelings can kind of go up and down. That's not what the love, those go with love, but that's not what love is. Love is the energy, love is energy. It's not primarily feelings, it is energy. And people who are in love, you don't have to look very far. Look at a woman who's got a brand new baby and she's in love with that baby. And the thing that you can see about her, her feelings go up and down. When she hasn't had a full night's sleep for a year, you think her feelings are she wants to get up and take care of that kid? That's not what her feelings say. But what does her energy say? She's like a charged up little energizer bunny, charged up to do good for that little child. And that's what love is. It is the energy to do good. It is when we are charged up with the energy to do good for somebody. You don't have to be a priest very long. Like Father Schwab has been, he's been at this much longer than I have, but you don't have to be a priest as long as he is to see lots of people come into your office and couples especially and tell you how much, you know, how much they love each other and they want to get married. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't take very long for you to be able to talk to that couple. And sometimes it's so obvious. One of you is charged up with energy to do good for the other, but the other one is just drifting. They, have, they say all the right words and they have a lot of feelings, but they're not the energy. They're not charged up to do good for you. They're just happy to let you do good for them. That's one person who's in love and another person who's just drifting through life, through love. They're not charged up with the energy to do good. There's a very strange mystery about being alive, about this life that we have. We can feel it going in a direction. We can feel our life moving in a direction. But we also experience that it's a direction you can find or it's a direction that we can lose. And so I think we all know the experience of being alive and of not knowing where, where is my life going? I, I don't know what direction it's going. I've lost the direction. I don't know, I don't know what it's about. I can't find the center of life anymore. I'm just sort of off on the edges and I, I don't know where my life is going. And then we fall in love somehow. We fall in love with God. Once again, we come here once again and we fall in love with God. Or we fall in love with someone who's coming into our lives or we fall in love with learning and we want to go to the university and we want to get a degree and learn. Or we fall in love with truth or goodness or beauty. And all of a sudden, we know what the direction of life is now. We have found the direction. It was lost, but now we found it. And our life's going in that direction. And now we are charged up with the energy to go in that direction. That's what it is to be in love. And you've heard me say this, and I'll probably say it a thousand times in the time that I've here, is that we are already in love with God. That's the first gift that God gives to all people, is a heart that is in love with God challenge is to discover that we're in love 
and to start cooperating with it, to start cooperating with being in love with God. Because as Jesus says in the gospel, learn the lesson of the fig tree. Something is coming. You can see it coming. And there is no time left for just drifting through life. And just drifting without knowing what our love is about and where, where the direction of our love is going, where we need to be charged up with the energy to do good for humanity. We, we talk about loving people and one of the things that we skip a lot of times is that Jesus obviously loved people and loves each of us, but Jesus also loved humanity. He died also for everyone. We need to have a love that charges us up to do good for the world, for all human beings. And so we are made to be in love. It's, it's incredibly obvious and clear that the way God made us is that we were made to be in love. And so let us come then to this altar, to this table this morning. And let's ask God to show us where it is. What are we in love with? What is our life to be in love about? Where is that direction that our love pulling and tugging at us? Where is that drive? Where is that drive that charges us up to do good? Because Jesus makes it very clear. Triumphs of trouble are coming. Times of great trouble, we're already in troubled times. And Jesus makes it clear there's even more difficult times of trouble coming. And he makes it really clear. There is no time left. There is no time left to just be drifting through life, unattached to our love, to being in love with God, to being in love with our families, to be in love with humanity, to be in love with that person that God has shown to us. It doesn't take very long when you're a priest and you see couples once again come into your office and they want to get married. And, and they, uh, it doesn't take too long to talk to them sometimes. And you can tell that one of them has a battery that's charged up. Their battery is all charged up. And one's got a dead battery. And, the, and I hate to say it, but in my experience, it's more often the guy than the woman. His battery's dead. But he's got jumper cables on the battery of the woman. And he's charging up. He's open to get a jump start off the energy of her life because he doesn't have any. Because he's drifting and he's out of touch with his love. And he wants to jump start off of somebody who is in touch with their love who's got some energy for life and love. And he's draining the energy off of her battery because he's just drifting, he's just drifting. And Jesus makes it utterly clear, there was no time left for just drifting. So let's come here to this altar, to this table, and let's receive sacred food so that we can live holy lives. And let's begin the search. Let's ask God to make it clear to us what we are to be in love with in our lives. Charge us up with the energy to do good. Because it is too late in this world to be just drifting around. Now let us stand and declare our faith in the Lord. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and of earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, 
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, for the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life is everlasting. Amen. Called to be people of mercy, we turn with confidence to our merciful God, asking these prayers. For people of the church to demonstrate the compassion Jesus lived by, seeking ways to help those most in need, we pray. O oh God, God, hear our prayer. prayer. That the eyes of the world turn towards those who are starving and seek to address the injustices too often overlooked and too often practiced by those in power, we pray. Oh God, hear our prayer. That we remember to see Christ in the face of each person we encounter, especially those who are poor, homeless, and discriminated against, we pray. Oh God, hear our prayer. That the discussions and, prior and promises made at the climate conference promote meaningful action and continuing negotiations between governments and companies to address the worsening climate crisis, we pray. Oh God, hear our prayer. That all gathered here will be nourished by Christ in the Eucharist, mindful that he is the bread for our journey, we pray. Oh God, hear our prayer. For all caregivers and healthcare workers, that they receive much needed support and gratitude for their good works. We pray. Oh God, hear our prayer. For all who have asked for our prayers and all those burdened with illness, including those listed in the parish book of prayer and in the bulletin, we pray. Oh God, hear our prayer. God of mercy, you are close to the poor and oppressed. Please hear these prayers and give us faith to believe in our call to love and to fall in love and to live by love and to serve those in need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father of mercies, faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and our Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are most father and most mother to us, and you care for all of your daughters and all of your sons. And so with all the saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of as without end we acclaim. <laughs> are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. And he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your son, our savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing, the court favor on the offering of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love that we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son and whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and love together with Francis our Pope and Alexander our Bishop with all of the bishops, priests and deacons and the entire people that you have made your own everywhere. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions that comfort those who labor and who are burdened. Make us to serve them truly after the example of Christ and in his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and to freedom, to peace and to justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. And remember all of our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all of the dead whose faith you alone have known. And I invite us now to just speak out the first names of those, some of those we are remembering during this special month mm. of November, our loved ones who have gone to God before us. Harry, Mavis, mm -hmm. Peter, Admit all of them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give to them the fullness of your life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with the apostles and the martyrs, with St. Charles and with all of the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. at home to uh, unmute at this time and to let us see your faces as you join us. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art who in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, 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 thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive, and and forgive us our trespasses, as we as forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. Against us. And lead, and lead us not us into not temptation, into temptation but deliver, but us, deliver from us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not upon our sins, look instead upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and your spirit. And let us offer one another a sign of peace. 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 Let's be with you, Father. Peace. 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 Peace.
takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You are welcome to come forward for communion. We come forward by the two near side aisles, not the center, the near side aisles, and then peel around to the far side. And we begin with the outside sections moving in. Thank you. Keep us mindful 
and the fruit of thy vine make us one. Let the whole human family together heed the cry of our island home. So we rise with him each morning, and we work and work we must to be Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what, you co- what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for our announcements. In the bulletin, you will see information on an envelope for the Campaign for Human Development. This collection is to help those in poverty help themselves. It seeks to give the poor the tools to raise them above poverty so that they have a human life that is dignified and worthy. Please be as generous as you can. 
Our fall enrichment series on the Lasallian Way concludes Monday from 12.30 to 1 p.m. in the chapel or on Zoom. Please join us. See details in the bulletin. Please pick up a bulletin after mass and stay caught up on all the parish news. If you have a donation, you can place it in the box at the back. And we thank you very much. Hi there, I'm Mary Ann. Um, I'm a member of two committees here on, in St. Charles. The first being St. Vincent de Paul. And as we requested last week, um, we asked that you bring in some toiletries, specifically toilet paper, paper towels, toothpaste, shampoos, and put in the bin at the entrance of the church. Um, as you know, the SNAP program does not cover those items, and you were so, so generous last time that it carried us for about six months. So we'd ask that before the month of November. And then secondly, the creation care team, it's a newly formed team, it's an eco-justice team. Starting on November 20th, next week, um, the care for creation team will start collecting single use batteries, not rechargeable for recycling. We will also collect empty containers for hair and skincare products and cosmetics, a complete listing of what's, um, what's recyclable will be posted above the collection receptacles in the entry of the church right next to the St. Vincent de Paul bin. Um, and um, so please prayerfully consider um, the, you know, the, the adverse effects of when we don't recycle. So we're just getting that going. Thanks so much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just a couple of announcements. Uh, today is our day uh, to tour the new school. So that's exciting. Uh, here's what I invite you to do is, uh, it, is please join us for hospitality after mass. We have a special cake reception for Father L and uh, invite you to come into the new cafeteria, get coffee, cake, uh, say hello to Father L, uh, and then wander about the school. All the classrooms are open and unlocked, and uh, you're free to just uh, wander around and uh, take it all in. If you are planning to attend our multicultural committee meeting today, then let's say that that meeting will begin in 20 minutes at 11.25. So that'll give you some time to, to get your coffee and cake and uh, wander about the school a little bit. And then uh, we'll, we'll, uh, the committee will meet in the back end of the cafeteria of, of the commons. We'll pull together a couple of the round tables, gather around and begin our conversation about celebrating Our Lady of Guadalupe. Okay, uh, so um, how to get there from here to there. Uh, go outside, out our door uh, on the north entrance here and proceed directly toward the new building. And there's a, a door that looks like a back door and that's the one you wanna go into because that's the closest one to us and it takes you uh, right past the kitchen and, and into the commons. So go through that door. Uh, if I can get down there in time, I will open up the main doors way down there, but uh, right now uh, those doors are not open, so enter through the back door. Uh, okay. Uh, just a, um, another item. Uh, I will be away next weekend visiting my brand new granddaughter, so we're very excited about that. So, Father L, we finally get a chance to bless you and thank you for all your years of service. So I invite you to come forward, uh, please. And I wonder, 
I'm doing this on the spur, but I wonder if there are at least a couple people here who would be willing to come and stand beside our beloved priest who has been with us for more than a dozen years and just stand beside him as a symbol of, of, of holding him up. Uh, but we're not, we're not touching, we're not laying hands today. We're just standing beside. And I would ask the rest of you, please, yes, look at this, <laughs> wonderful. I would ask the rest of you to extend your hands in blessing. Oh God, we are truly grateful for all that Father L has given us these last 12 plus years. Wisdom, history, truth, and so much more. We thank you and we beseech you to bless him. And so together we say, amen. Amen. Indeed, bless him as he continues his journey and life. May he taste the sweetness of your presence. Amen. May he live in your joy. May he know of your love for him as an authentic expression of your enduring love. And so we say again, amen. amen. For years and years, El, you have blessed us at the end of every mass and in so many other ways. And so today we bless you and we thank you for your gift to us. And so we bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And a round of applause, I yeah. think. I just want to say thank you. It is an incredible pleasure for me to be here today and celebrate Mass with you again. It's uh, just really important. Um, Please keep doing the, the gospel. The Father gave us a good message today. We need to keep loving and not drifting. So keep loving and love everyone. Thank you so very, very, very much. Please stand, everyone. Beef, can I have that? Can I have that back? That microphone. Thank you. you stand right there, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And I want you to. He said that you've been blessing this congregation for years, so I want you to give us the final blessing. <laughs> May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit continue Amen. to bless us. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We tell the earth.
creatures share one common home, one loving God, one song of hope. The rocks cry out and praises ring, rise up and sing, rise up and sing, we till the earth, we till the ground. Where none is found in selfless love. 